All right, with this WASH 2 Facebook Live update, I'm Chief Meteorologist Tony Vidal. I hope you guys are having a good and safe, happy Halloween. Uh, we have seen a few showers pop up uh, down to the south along the East Coast sea breeze. But for the most part, uh, many of us are rain-free, so certainly some good news on that front. We'll break that down. We'll take a look at the busy tropics and slightly cooler air. Not a big fall front, but slightly cooler air is on the way for uh, Thursday and Friday. And then moisture uh, rain chances start to go up here as we head into the latter half of the weekend and early next week. All right, let's kick it off here. Here's a look at the live radar right now. And you, uh, you can see uh, that there's the, uh, the breeze working on through. Uh, not a whole lot of moisture with it. A uh, couple sprinkles down uh, towards the, uh, the south. And so offshore showers there are really no big deal. Nothing we're too worried about. Now, the story tonight, boo, and happy Halloween to you guys. Terry Lottie, Karen Rasmussen, Maria Sophia, uh, Junie Pachi, all in the house. Again, boo-hoo to you too as well. Look at these readings. 75 to 82 out there right now. Jessica Moda, Carla Beth Thompson. Uh, you can see here. Uh, Thomas Perry. Uh, Faith Richard. Faith, I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. How's, how's the family doing? Uh, happy Halloween to everybody, says Michelle McD. Excellent. Look at that. Look at this group tonight. Great group. Giselle Yatanian with a spooky face there. I'm wearing a Sophia. Carol Ann, Gidney Kilburn, and Karen Whiting Roy. Look at this group in here tonight. Debbie Mandy, hello to you. Those are the current temperatures. Here's a look at the feels like. A little stuffy out there, a little sticky uh, with uh, 82 to 87 along the I-4 corridor. Now, let's take a look at these lows tonight. Not going to drop a whole lot tonight, Laura and Zane and Deborah and Maria. Happy Halloween to you, uh, folks. Uh, 65 in Ocala, 68 in uh, Palm Coast, and 68 over towards the land. Victoria Moritor. Uh, we have Tropical Storm Lisa. We'll get to that here in a second. Eric Gamp, Stephen Pashana, Anthony Mazzari. Uh, thank you. Appreciate you there, Aunt. Faith, my family is good, but the joining. <laughs> Faith, nice. Matt Apperson, spooky night here in Lake Mary. Gerald Ellett has popped in. Good to have you there, Gerald. Uh, 65 in Ocala, 71 in Bicklow, 73 in Melbourne. Uh, we take a look now at the setup here for tonight and tomorrow. A little bit of fog uh, giving way to a few afternoon showers tomorrow. Gail Copeland Duncan, happy Halloween. Uh, Carol. Uh, Presido, good to have you there, Carol. Appreciate you popping in. Here's a look now at Futurecast. 59 degrees on Long Island. Whoa! No trick or treaters? Why is that, Debbie? Jeff uh, Jeffrey uh, Dugas, Jamie Lewis Underwood, watching from Belize. Uh, James, you might have some issues coming your way here in the next few days in the down in the tropics from Lisa. Well, there's a look now. Right there. Showers along the coast. Lots of clouds. A few sprinkles during the afternoon tomorrow. Happy Halloween to you. Gorgeous patio sitting weather. Uh, I am on mine at the moment. And, and ah, there we go. Uh, Faith, you giving out uh, some candy right now? Stacy Barnhart. Stacy Tola. And then we move our way on to Wednesday. A few more clouds. Maybe. And just a few more showers. That might be a little bit overdone, uh, but we'll watch the trends on that. Jennifer Nancy, OMG. Very, very few trick or treaters, really. I am surprised. Surprised by that. All right, two day rainfall total. Looking like this. Not a whole lot along the coast, maybe a quarter to an inch back through the interior there. No, Anthony, he's, uh, he's departed. I'm not really sure where he went. Jennifer Nancy, how was your day, by the way? What you up to there, girl? What are you into? What, did you, what are you dressed up as, Jennifer, for trick-or-treat? Are you and the girls going out? What's going on? Uh, no trick-or-treat is over here in the V. Really? Kind of strange, she says. All right, Falcon 9 heavy. Tomorrow morning, 940. Uh, cumulus clouds. 
90% probability of lifting off. It's right across. There you go, Fate. Well, I feel like all the kids and uh, uh, nice. Jane Teresa. Missing skeleton. <laughs> uh, there, there you go, Gail. Someone's going to be eating a lot of candy if you only get four trick-or-treaters. Uh, and candy boy. Boy, did it get expensive. Holy moly. Quiet out here in Salt Spring, says Pat Farrell. Uh, Chris Pierce, good evening. Thomas Perry, no trick-or-treaters. I am a... Uh, oh, so uh, there, uh, there you go, Terry. All right, all right. Palm Coast, 83. Orlando, 89. And Wildwood coming in at 87. Titusville, 85 for tomorrow afternoon high temperature. Not bad. Uh, let's see here. We'll do this. Ocala, 86, 87 ish for an afternoon high. A few clouds, maybe a late day sprinkle. <laughs> Faith. How do you really feel about it, Faith? Uh, Debbie. Uh, yeah, they have it up pretty high today. I'm not sure why. I know they were shooting something in here earlier. Tracy Skuke Barber. We never have any trick or treat. Is this year we have a river? Ah! Tracy, hopefully that war is going to go down soon for you. Uh, are you on the St. John's, by the way, just out of curiosity? There it is. There's Flagler Beach, Daytona Beach, Booyah. There it is. Pretty warm. Temps in the low 80s. Beach forecast. And Maria Sophia, you have a wonderful night as well. As always, thank you for popping in. Uh, tomorrow, water temperatures are going to be around 74 to 76. You need to have every. Well, he and I are going to be talking tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to put him on, um, what you want to call it. Al and I have a, a setup for tomorrow. We are sh doing a little, a little thing together tomorrow uh, for down the road. I don't know if I'll be able to grab him for a Facebook Live, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm not sure how busy his schedule is. But, yeah, I've got an interview with him tomorrow around 11-ish. Uh, attractions, Universal Studios, sunny and warm, 83, 5 o'clock, 86. A Volcano Bay, <clears throat> tomorrow, near 90. There you go. Uh, here's a look at uh, the Food and Wine Festival. Two weeks to go. I think it ends right around the 14th. Supermarkets are packed in. Well, yep, they're, they're gearing up, Jamie, aren't they? They know something's coming. All right, let's see. I'm almost at the tropics, James. Hang in there. There's your front. Briefly... Drier and cooler on Thursday, and maybe Friday. Gail Copeland, good to have you there. Nikki Lopez, Nikki Lolo. What's going on, girl? You guys going out for Halloween tonight? You and Josh, what's what's cooking, girl? What are you guys dressing up as? Bobby Johnson. Tracy, you as well. Have a wonderful night. As always, I thank you for popping in. Just to say hi and get the update on that weather. Critical weather updates. Saturday, a few showers with the onshore flow. And then Sunday, late on on the Monday, a broad area of low pressure may try to form there across the northern Bahamas. At the very least, bring us increasing rain chances. Too early to say whether something subtropical or tropical might develop, but uh, we'll, we'll keep you posted on that. The weekend forecast, BTW, by the way, 86, 86, rain chances going from 20 to 40%. Now, there it is. We've got Lisa, another disturbance way up to the north. I'm not going to spend time on that because it's not coming this way, but I uh, just want to let you know there's two things out there, Lisa and that other feature. As of the 8 o'clock advisory, moving west at 14. Pressure still 1,002. Uh, 5 o'clock advisory points this due west towards Belize. Jamie in here from uh, Belize tonight. Uh, the update from earlier today had this as a tropical storm. Now uh, as a, a hurricane before landfall sometime Wednesday evening. Uh, Angel Ramirez, Diana New Yorkan, and Colleen Cahill. Boohoo to you too. It is looking a little bit better organized. Let's go back to that loop. 
Uh, nice little burst of thunderstorms there, uh, especially on the south and the east side. So that's something we're going to watch. And very good model agreement, I might ask. Uh, I, I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Hey, darling, says Nikki. Hey, darling, back. I love that. It's a little southern drawl. Hey, darling. Uh, Vicky Hill. Some of our... Oh, look at that, Vicky. Nice. Well, that's kind of cool. <coughs> look at the models. Boom! Due west. Right into Belize. Yeah. Uh, if there is another named Storm down the road <coughs> in November, it would become Martin or Nicole. Now, here's one of the reasons why um, we think that Lisa has a chance to become a hurricane. Look, look at the warm waters there. Wowza. Happy trick-or-treating friend says Meta. Meta with a new picture. Linda Crook, the Crookster, the Crookinator, the Crookatola is now popping in with us and saying hi. Very, very warm waters down there in the Caribbean. Uh, that is definitely in the vicinity, James. You're correct on that. Uh, Jamie's down there in Belize, lives there. Pops in every once in a while, especially when there's weather uh, down in the Caribbean. And the European has it going right into Belize City. And then there's another little feature there that kind of up a little bit wraps up and then heads towards the state of Florida before yet another front gets cranked up by the 10th and the 11th there of October. So we'll see if it's able to clear everything out. Uh, about the trick or treat around. The oh, excellent. Well, Nikki, yeah. you be uh, safe. Be Hope you get lots of candy. Um, How many kids do you have again? And <laughs> hey, what are your kids dressing up as, by the way? Oh, Debbie, Mandy. Days. There you go. All right, here's the GFS version. Also brings it in very close to Belize City. And then also has a big area of low pressure lifting northeastward just east of central Florida. So again, we'll see. We'll see what happens there. Here it is right there. So the models definitely see a little bit of something right there. See the red and the green? And then the GFS tries to bring it back towards the eastern side of the peninsula. Again, could be tropical, could be non-tropical, but something that we'll be watching down the road. The good news is the waters have cooled, so that's going to help us out. Josh and I have six kids. Oh, my goodness. And we are each being our own favorite book characters this year. You're, oh, and, you're, and, you're, and your book characters are? Love that, by the way. Nikki Lolo. Nikki Lolo. Six kids. Wow. You are a saint. All right, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Upper 80s to the low and mid 80s by Thursday and Friday, at least briefly. Anyway, bring it on. We need that. We need to cool down. Tina O is in the house. Nikki Lopez from Debbie. Could be interesting. All right, temps around the good old U.S. of A. Uh, Sharon, uh, rain chances do go up here uh, for... A little bit anyway for Tuesday and Wednesday, then back down Thursday, Friday, then right back up Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So that's something that uh, we will be watching for you down the road. Cool weather out west, cool weather in the northeast, still quite warm here in central Florida when we take a look at the national perspective. Diana, I'm with you. I'm with you. So far, the end, it's a no-go on that. There it is. Two big storms out west, one in South Texas, one in the Ohio Valley. Definitely, definitely busy. Terry also wants to know who the characters are. There you go. So that's that. Now, snow on the ground? Yep. That time of the year? Look out west. Washington, Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Nevada. All in it. Here we go. Still 59 in East Meadow. I'll take 59. Oh! Below zeros coming on in. Point zero, uh, uh, seven below at Point Barrow. 
One below at Fort Ross. E-I-E-I-I, being New York City Veterans Weekend, says Angel Ramirez. There you go. Nine in Fairbanks. 62, uh, 62 Montana. Uh, 16 in Yellowknife, one above in Baker Lake. 48 in Moosonee. Billings is at 62 in Montana. Ottawa, 54. Chicago, 55. Memphis, 56. Mobile, 62. Nassau in the Bahamas, 81. Cancun, 79. 82 in Kingston. 81 in Belize City. 79 in Panama City. Caracas, 81. There you go, Linda Crookster. Enjoy the game. Good luck to your team, by the way. Bogota, 55. La Paz, Bolivia, 52. Ooh, big cold front through Asuncion, Paraguay, and Buenos Aires, 55 and 57. Punta Arenas coming in at 46. Cape Town, 57. Rome. Rome is at 57. Berlin, 54. Oslo, 43. Moscow, 34. Sergut at 28. Bratsk. At 10. Yakutsk at 10. Ulaanbaatar at 10. Urukumi, 39. Beijing, 43. Seoul, Korea, 50. Sapporo, 57. Hong Kong, 75. Manila, 81. Darwin, down under, 90. Port Moresby, 93. Kim Enos DeLuca. Kim, not soon enough, unfortunately. Maybe just slightly cooler Thursday, Friday, not much. Minus 12, Thomas. Yes. That's that's some cold stuff right there. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. So there it is. Down under. Fit it for. All right. And the reason why it's so warm is that the core of the cooler air is up here. Way way up here north of north of florida this big high right there that's keeping all the cool air from getting in so uh, this front's going to kind of fall apart on approach to central florida maybe bringing briefly a scotch less humid air for thursday and friday not by much and as a look at the live radar not much going on there temp wise it is a mild night tonight for sure 76 in Leesburg, 77 in Sanford. Uh, a Venom Clown from Goosebumps, a little monster, a little Disney princess, and my little guy is a ninja. Wow. Well, you're going to have to send us a photo of that there, Nikki Lolo. That's awesome. Well, listen, you get out there with those kiddos. Don't let us hold you up. Uh, enjoy the night. Again, uh, be safe. And uh, make, sure, uh, make sure that... Uh, Josh is there to help you out with six of those little munchkins. You can have your hands full. That's all I have to say. But you're a tough lady. You got this. Vanessa Kilo Kai Moon. There it is. A few sprinkles tomorrow. A little better chance for some showers on Wednesday. Danella needs some chilly weather. Kim! Kimmy Enos Beluka. Uh, Vanessa, good to have you in here. Yep. There it is. All right, I'm wrapping it up here with a, a look at the seven day. Pop that in there for everybody. Uh, 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 minivan for six, yeah. She's gonna need a minivan. She's gonna need an SUV. Give her the Cadillac. There we go. All right, Tuesday, 89. Could hit 90 just enough to the Ooh, excellent. Well, that's good. You guys enjoy your time together. I, and I, I do appreciate you, too, spending just a couple of moments of your time with me on your off day together for the first time in years. So bless you for that there, Nikki Lolo. All right, there's your seven day. Nikki, get out of here, Nikki. Go. Spend time with Josh and those kiddos. Go party it up. Get some candy. Woo-hoo. All right, Tuesday, 89. Wednesday, 87. Thursday and Friday, 84, 85. Shower chances going up late in the weekend. And then on into next week. On. Oh. Wow, excellent. Becky Norby, we can use the rain. Sauce for dinner. <laughs> Thanks, Vanessa. 
Uh, so there you go, 89, 87, 84, 85, 86, 86, 86. Uh, you take care, Nikki Lolo. All right, guys, I'm heading out too, not to go trick-or-treating, but uh, to, to make some updates here and get the rest of tonight's forecast updated. And uh, I'll be back on the air tonight at 10 and, of course, at 11 on West 2 News and right back here tomorrow night on Facebook Live. Have a great night, happy Halloween, and enjoy that candy. Toodles!